Hey everyone, this is Mike and today I wanted to talk about some closers news that we got today and a little bit earlier this week. So first of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Western version of closers and then I'm also going to talk about some new things that are coming onto the Korean server. So first of all, for the Western release, Anmas released a post about some of the upcoming content. First of all, we're getting our fourth signature costume, or I guess you could say fifth, the uh, Draconian ones, which you can already buy them uh, through loot boxes, so if you're lucky you can get it that way. But probably next week or the week afterwards, we'll be able to craft them ourselves with Synchro Fibers as well. Um, so that's going to be something that a lot of people will be looking forward to. But what a lot of people will be looking forward to even more is that Beelzebub, aka BB, or the new Purification, will be coming sometime soon as well. We didn't get a specific date about when this will be coming just yet, um, but they did say that it's going to be coming very soon. So probably, I think, uh, once the current task force is being released, which is the one from Soma, Tain, and Levia, I think the patch after that, the uh, Beelzebub rate will be released as well. And that will also come together with a update to Purification. Uh, currently, Purification is pretty like lengthy, I guess you could say. There's like six different stages to all of the bosses and like the rotation and stuff. So that's all going to change as well uh, to make it a more streamlined experience, I guess you could say. So if you're somebody that hasn't done Purification yet, uh, or maybe not have done it on all of your characters, then it's going to become a little bit easier uh, around the time that Beelzebub releases. So that's kind of the things for the Western release. Beelzebub's coming soon, new raid, and then of course the Draconian signature costumes um, are already available if you want to spend real money. If you want to wait and spend some in-game money, um, then you'll have to wait for another week or two. Now, over to the Korean release. Earlier today, Nexon released a video kind of looking back on five years of closers. For those that don't know, in about a month's time, it's Closer's five-year anniversary from when it first came out in Korea. Um, so they kind of released a video looking back on all of the characters, all of the teams, all of the bosses that they released, endgame content, that kind of stuff. Uh, kind of counting up towards 2019 and what is going to be next for Closer's. Now, the two biggest things that we could take away from this video is that there is going to be a new team called Ratus, a four team. They're also going to be uh, releasing two new characters for it already. Uh, one being a gun character and the other being a side character. Now the side character, I'm a pretty big fan of sides, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing her. She looks pretty fun, so definitely looking forward to that one. Um, but other than that, something that is exciting me even more is the fact that Closers is going to get a remaster. Um, this basically means that the game is going to look a lot better than it does right now, because one of my biggest complaints, and also one of the things that I see a lot of people struggle with of my friends that are like, yeah, I tried out the game, but it looks like shit, because the game does look kind of bad, um, but I still enjoy it because it plays really well, but with Closest Remaster, it seems like they're doing a gigantic overhaul to how the game is going to be looking, and probably also how it's going to feel to play a little bit as well, so that's pretty much it for the Korean side of things, Closest Remastered, it's going to look a lot better, and then of course we have our two new characters, a gun character and then a side character, uh, coming out now of course side character is not gonna be like Levia. Levia also uses a side, but she's a witch um, This side character actually uses the side to fight in melee combat, which looks incredibly cool So that's going to be it for me. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll leave a link to the five-year anniversary thingy In the description if you want to go check it out yourself and uh, yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one